There's a, some big wave here today. What's up guys, welcome to a new YouTube video. Today is December 17th. So I haven't done a video now in over a month. So I haven't filmed in over a month. I haven't talked on the camera in over a month. Back up here doing another shoulder and arm workout today. Been going pretty well since after the show. The first couple of weeks, pretty dialed in. Didn't like took a bit of time off of training and stuff, but diet was pretty good. And right now, um, roughly 210 pounds. So just eight pounds over the cutoff for classic physique. Yeah, it's about 15, 15 pounds up from my lowest weight that I was depleted during prep, which was around 194. So yeah, everything's going well. Um, I'm gonna get this workout in, get this video done. And then I'm heading home at the end of this week for a week to spend time with family and friends back in Labrador. And then when I come back up in January, I'm gonna get the YouTube thing going again and do videos leading up for the off season and then prep going into the uh, national show where I can earn the pro card. So that's my game plan right now. I'll also be sponsored with Alphalete, the contract signed in January. So something to look forward to. Um, other than that, yeah, I'm gonna get into this workout. Start off with uh, overhead shoulder dumbbell press and then we'll move on to a couple more shoulder exercises and then two or three by and try exercises. So let's get into it. Pretty good. I feel like my uh, joints are still recovering from from prep. So go up to 110s, I think, for a top set. See how it goes, and if uh, feels pretty good, I'll go a little higher. But I think 110s are probably where we cap it off for today. <laughs> Yeah, that's the top set for today. <laughs> it didn't feel easy. <laughs> wait, wait. That's it for those. I think I might do a back off set. Feel a little bit better. So you feel better or I feel better? I feel better. <laughs> it's too heavy. for when I go home next week and staying on track during the holidays and stuff. So, I mean, most of the foods we eat over Christmas, you can relatively eat good and eat clean. Cause I mean, especially in Newfoundland, you get the Jigs dinner with the turkey, potatoes, carrots, cabbage, and everything else. So, I mean, if you just eat those things, don't add a bunch of gravy and don't overdo it on desserts. It's relatively easy to stay on track, but I think the hard part is just when you have so many options and it's Christmas time and everyone's like, ah, enjoy yourself. But you no, know, it should be easy to stay on track. Basically just uh, eat high protein, still enjoy the meals and stuff and maybe have a dessert here and there. But yeah, the main thing is just uh, eat enough protein throughout the day, feel satisfied, don't overeat, don't overdo it, and stay active, and so you stay on track. Moving on to the next exercise for the shoulder and arm workout. I do my favorite machine here for shoulders, so basically just reenacts a lateral raise, but we're seated on a machine. You'll see how it works. The arms are about 45 degree angle. Same way I would do it if I was using dumbbells, but I do like this machine because it gives resistance right from the bottom to the very top. So right now, eating roughly 3,500 calories or so. 
which is quite a step up from <laughs> the depletion calories that I was taking in was probably like 1700 or so. But basically all the prep, like toward the end it was roughly in the low 2000s, so up around 14 to 1300 calories from there and feeling great. So just gonna keep adding calories every week, just as long as the body fat stays in check and the weight stays in check. So as for the foods I've been eating, I'll definitely give you guys some like full day of eating videos in the new year and just show you everything about off season leading up until we start prep as of right now. Hasn't really changed much from the foods I was eating during prep. Just a lot more of them, obviously, like more cream of rice, more chicken, more oatmeal, more carbs. But I have added bread back in, which is great. Finally get to eat some sandwiches again and some toast and peanut butter, which I haven't had in ages. So I enjoy that every weekend and I make my protein French toast and protein pancakes and stuff. So, so a few things I added in there, but other than that, staying pretty consistent, just more carb sources. So yeah, that's been going pretty well. Yeah, so just gonna keep adding calories and try to keep adding mass right up until we start prep. So that's the game plan. Friday so I gotta work all week so I'm packing up everything in the condo already and everything done today so I don't have to worry about it this week so I can jump on a plane Friday and not have to worry about anything so clean the condo cook meals for the rest of the week pack a suitcase That'd be basically it because it's getting pretty late here now so by the time I get home that'll take the rest of the evening for sure and then uh, get up 5 a.m. tomorrow work five days and then fly home. You can tell by the wear on this brand new Prime machine, everyone else loves it too. <laughs> 10 minutes to set this thing up. Basically with these prime machines guys, so you can change where the tension is in the movement. So if you want it harder at the beginning, you can change it to a number here and it shows you on the little plaque right there, which number will show if it's the tensions at the start or beginning or the middle. So for me, I changed the tension just then. So it's a little harder at the start, but then when I come back here, um, I can really get that squeeze in my rear delt and it's not too much tension here that I wouldn't be able to control it but you're stronger in the movement out here then when you come back you're a little weaker so take a little bit of the tension or the weight off and be able to squeeze makes the movement a lot better yeah that's how I use the machine so I just make the tension harder at the start so I can get a better squeeze at the end and yeah, you can adjust it any way you like. Sometimes it wouldn't really make sense for some movements, um, like some you wouldn't really want it really hard at the start when that's where it's hardest at anyway, and then it just gets lighter as it goes, it wouldn't make sense. But yeah, you can see how it feels, and you can get a lot of the tension in the uh, whatever range of motion or, or lengthened position or shortened position of the movement that you want. So it's harder right here at the beginning, then come back. It feels a little lighter, and then get that squeeze in the rear delt. Okay, we'll move on to biceps, I think. Depending on which, if my favorite machine is not being used or not, we'll see. It's the first time I've used this prime machine for preacher curls, but yeah, you can pretty much set this thing up the same way. You have most of the, the tension when you begin right here, 
you can have most of tension in the middle range of motion or you can have most of tension right at the very top so yeah you can adjust it as you go but same as any other preacher curl essentially other than you got the options to do those three things so i'm going to start off with the biceps i was going to use the atlantis but i did want to play around with this prime machine for those reasons and then we're going to move on two more bicep exercises and three more triceps Still keeping some conditioning, obviously not stage level conditioning, but that is the plan right now. Add a little body fat so I'll feel normal and within range of something that's sustainable. So from here, yeah, try to keep this conditioning and then really push for some size in the new year, starting around January or so. So I'll keep it after Christmas and the vacation and time home and stuff, then we'll really push in January. So on the last bulk, I gained a little too much body fat, but for this bulk right now and in January, you're gonna keep the conditioning, stay a little leaner, that obviously help with just putting on mass and not gaining too much fat so we don't have to diet for such a long period of time like I did the last prep. I'm hoping on this prep I'll stay in nice condition and maybe the prep this time will only be around 16 weeks or so and no more than 20. I um, don't really want to do any more than that so we can really push for that one show next year. As for right now we're doing this bicep exercise and then we're going to move on to some hammer curls and then triceps. and that'll be it for biceps. Last six weeks of prep, I'm always fucking cold. But now, too many carbs, I'm always warm and sweating. back into it after prep because the body's not really ready to jump into the heavier weights like you were doing in the off season or prior to the stage so definitely got to ease back into it to not injure yourself or pull anything so moving on to triceps i'm gonna start off with this dip machine here try to build some costco size croissants some revolutionary nutrition EAAs. <laughs> but basically only got it because after the show I kind of just wanted to be drinking a lot of water to help with cravings and stuff. So I just ordered some of the cheapest EAAs that I found that had good reviews for taste and I got I think three for under a hundred dollars and they taste really good. So.
just died on that one. I know, it's like a huge stretch and I can feel it just getting weaker and I gotta let go. All right guys, so this is what we're looking at right now. This is over five weeks post-show. So this is the post-show physique, five weeks later. So the lowest I was during prep was 194, completely depleted, um, but even before that, like, two weeks before the show I was over 200 pounds so that was like a major depletion to get to 194 the weight just kept falling off but it was a good look so I don't know what happened that last week but the weight just wanted to come off this is me right now roughly 210 pounds probably a little over I'm um, trying not to weigh myself every day like I was during the entire prep roughly eight pounds over my classic physique cutoff and this is the physique update Okay guys, so that sums up the video. And this will be probably the last video of 2023. So going into 2024, obviously, uh, I pumped out quite a few videos in 2023, going over the shows, going into the two summer shredding shows and the King Kong Classic, so we covered a lot there. And then the last five weeks or so, I kind of uh, took a bit of a break and got my everything back in order for just uh, enjoying training again and, and eating good and mental health and all that stuff. So. Um, everything's in order now uh, feeling good so basically going into 2024 definitely want to do more videos just leading right on up like I said for the whole off season leading into prep so I'll try to get either weekly videos or every couple weeks ideally weekly videos that is my game plan right now so definitely no less than once every couple weeks so that is what we're gonna do other than that yeah uh, thank you guys for watching I appreciate you guys and stay tuned for 2024 exciting things coming and yeah it's only up from here so let's get it